Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning level 8 framework tutorial. This is our part number 60. Inside this video, we will see the concept of URL generation. So in Laravel application guys, there are several helper functions which helps us to generate or is it to complete some specific task. So inside this video, we will discuss some helper functions of Laravel application which helps us to generate URLs. So if I open a new tab, so inside this video, we will discuss about URL helper function, route helper function and action helper function. These are the helper functions which is going to use or let's say helps us to generate URLs. So how can we use? Back to editor, we are going to open web.php to understand all the concept by using a closer route. So let's say route. We are going to create a git request type and here let's say simply a test route and inside this we are going to bind with anonymous function and if we return for now, or let's just simply echo this is a test route. Now if we save all these changes, back to browser and if I type here, let's say test, now this is as we can see that this is a test route. So let's create some zoom. This is a test route. So to understand all about URL generations, let's create some dummy route. So let's route, we are going to use git method and inside this simply let's say call, he will define anonymous function, let's say echo, this is call route and in the next let's create one more route, so let's say route get. And here, let's say sample. Inside this, we will bind with the student controller. In the last video, this controller we have created. And inside this, we will create a sample method. And also, inside this route, we are going to create a name of this route. And let's say sample dot method. This is the name of the route. So here we have created few simple routes and one more thing, let's say inside this route we are going to pass a parameter, so let's say id and if we pass this id to this anonymous function and let's print with this static string value. So let's create this sample method to our student controller. Now here inside this controller, let's say public function sample equal this is a sample method. Now if we save all these changes, let's test all these routes what we have created. So here we have call. So let's say this is call and inside this call route we need to pass parameters So for here. This is call route 4. Now in the next let's say we have a sample route so let's say sample and this is sample method so it's perfect we have created few routes it's working and it also working so let's say that in some cases we want to generate a url inside this anonymous function means inside this test route of this call method so what i will do go here let's say echo means what we want to do we want to generate a url which indicates or points to this call route so let's echo url it's a helper function and inside this helper function we need to pass our path so here we need to generate the url for this call route and inside this call route we need to pass an id so if we pass let's say 5 value here, save this change, go inside our browser and if I type test, now as we can see that 
this is the route actually behind the scene the URL helper has generated. Now if I copy this URL, open a new tab, run it here and this is call, this is our call route 5. Now in the next, if we go here, let's generate one more URL for the sample what we have created here. So this is URL and we are passing the route value here. Go and reload this page and here we have our sample route. So this is the use of our URL helper. When we pass any route value then it is going to generate the full URL value. So if we don't pass this value, let's comment that. So echo, let's say URL and inside this URL we have few methods. So here URL and if we type current here then it is going to return the current URL. So if we go and reload this page, so here we have the current URL equals to this value and it has returned this value. Again, we have the another method. So if we go and comment this line, let's say echo, we have URL and here we have the method as full. This full method is going to return the full URL value. So if we go and reload this page, as we can see that this is the complete URL what we have here and it is returning here. Again, if we use the same concept inside this call route, let's say echo URL helper and here we have full method now if we save this, go here, open our call route, pressing enter. Now this time actually we need to break here or let's make comment of this line. Go and reload this page. So here we have this is our full URL and it is returning that. So this is the use of our URL helper function. We can use the helper functions anywhere. This time we have used inside this web.php. You can use inside model means inside controller file as well as inside few files as well. So the first URL we understood. Let's understand about this route helper function. So back to editor, go inside this web.php and one more thing before going into the means route helper function. This URL helper functions also we can use by the help of URL facade. Means what I mean, let's say use URL. This is a facade. So by the help of this URL facade, we can use all these methods. So if I comment this line, comment this line, let's echo URL facade and we can call let's say current and here if we type let's echo URL facade and this time we are going to call our full method. If we save, go and reload this route as we can see that this is our full URL and if we reload this is our current URL. So it means we can use this URL helper function either by using this or we can actually use our URL facade. Now let's comment all these things. Now to use route helper function, we need to use route and inside this, we want to generate the route for this call. So here inside this first value, let's pass call and in the second, we need to make an array and inside this we need to pass the ID value. So let's say ID arrow operator and value equals to 3. So if we save and open about our test route, so we have some error that is call not defined. And this is because actually inside this route helper function, the first parameter we need to pass the named route. So here inside this route, we have no named value for this. So let's create a named value for this route and if we call it as a call, now this time 
this call indicates this named value and this named value indicates this route. Now if we save, go and reload this page. Now as we can see that it is perfectly working. Again, if we want to generate the route for this sample route what we have created. So here we have a name value. So copy that. Go and pass it here. So let's comment that route. Here we have this named route. Now at this time we don't want to make this array because it is not accepting any parameter value here. So simply sample dot method and this named route indicating or points towards this route value. So save all these changes. Go and reload this page and it is perfectly working. So this is all about our second helper function that is route. It works for the simple routes or the basic routes what we have created and if suppose in the route we have our named value so we can use route helper function. Now let's see that we actually will use the concept of this action helper function. This action helper function same it is also going to return the URL value. If I back here, let's make comment of this line. Let's action and inside this action we are going to pass let's say our name means route name. So inside this case if we want to generate the route for this sample. So what I will do simply if I copy that go here pasting it here. Now if we save go and reload this page. Now as you can see that we have the sample route. Now in case of call what I will do but in case to generate this call route we need to actually bind this route with the help of a controller because right now inside this route we don't have any controller attached. It's an anonymous function. So when we simply pass let's say call here go and reload this page. So as we can see that action call not defined. Also if we can try with this named here we have the named route. It's not working. So when we use the concept of action helper function we need to pass something like what we did initially that is a controller a method and in case let's say that if we have passed some parameter here let's id so inside this second parameter value we need to pass this id equals to 5. So here inside this video we understood all about this url helper function url facade route helper function and in the last we have seen the action helper function. So these are the helper functions which is available to generate the URLs. We can use this we can use the concept of URL helper functions in case of let's say if we want to attach our assets file inside our application or in some cases if we want to generate some route URLs. So in those cases it is much beneficial. So for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.